the Smiths are, are glad this chapter of their life is over and that uh, they are uh, thankful for the state attorney's office and being able to reach a satisfactory and very fair plea agreement, that uh, they wish to express their thanks to the state attorney's office, the New York County Sheriff's Department, and the city of Bill Beach Police Department for their assistance and to all of their friends and family that have stood by them during this time. What's been the most difficult part in dealing with all this? Publicity and just the, the negative uh, portrayal of, of the Smiths, uh, not by necessarily the media, but just in general by the uh, social media, I should say. Do you think the punishment is harsh enough? We think it's fair. I mean, we think it's appropriate. It accomplishes what they, what they want, which is uh, no contact with their daughter. It has an element of punishment, but it has an element of that she can redeem herself and live her life without any kind of labels. Uh, if she successfully completes probation, she'll be able to uh, seal her record and ultimately expunge it if she completes all the conditions of probation. Well, uh, yeah, I'm glad for the victim that this is over. I know this has been hard on her and on her family, and I think that now she can go back to being a high school student and uh, getting on with her life. Is this more lenient? No. She's not labeled as a sex offender? She's not labeled as a sex offender. That was something we never had asked for. Okay. Uh, it had been reported that way, but we had never actually asked for that. This uh, offer was uh, the least lenient of the three offers that were made. None of the prior offers contained uh, a provi provision for jail time, uh, and in the end, she ended up pleading to five counts, two of which were felonies. You feel Please, that? Do you please with that? Yes, yes. This is what we wanted to accomplish from the, from the beginning. We wanted to accomplish uh, supervision. We want her to stay away from the victim. And uh, this is the most stringent form of supervision, uh, and we believe that it should be sufficient uh, to keep her uh, away from the victim. If she does what she's supposed to do, then uh, she will not be a convicted felon. And uh, after her sentence is over, uh, she will not face the most severe consequences of the crimes she committed. And again, you had said from the start, this wasn't a same-sex case. No, this, this case never had anything to do with sexual orientation. Some people tried to make it that way in the media, uh, and particularly in social media, uh, but this case never had anything to do with that. I've spoken with the victim's parents many times. They've never made uh, any claims that this has anything to do with that. Uh, this case is handled, uh, it would have been handled exactly the same whether it was uh, a male and a female or, or any other way. Would the punishment have been harsher if Kate was a man? No. They're, every case is based upon, uh, the sentence in each case is based upon uh, the particular circumstances of that case. There are men who receive probation, there are men who go to prison, and it's just based upon the particular uh, circumstances of each individual case. This is Kate's decision, this is not my decision. Um, I support her, I stand by her 100%. Um, she wanted to save her future, and I can respect that. Um, I still think it's just so wrong and so just on so many levels not the right thing um, I'll always feel that way um, I'm still gonna be here I'm still gonna be fighting for not only Kate but for every teenager so they never have to go through this um, this is a horrible situation that never should have occurred why do you think that these are teenage girls these are kids in high school together that they're immature they don't have the minds of adults they're kids um, anyone who has, who has a child knows that they don't wake up on their 18th birthday and become an adult um, I'm not ignorant I understand the law says that they're an adult but by any means they're not an adult um, there was no malice intent there was no um, you know evil there was no manipulation or coercion these were just simply two teenagers doing what teenagers do they made some bad choices together mutually and unfortunately we had the situation arise what's been the hardest part of dealing with all this losing uh, our daughter yeah <laughs> losing our She's child in jail for no no reason pretty much and it it's ridiculous that it's came down to this and not to the parents you know what i mean we're all parents everybody's got kids here and the, all it had to do was come down to somebody coming to us if they had a problem with something that our daughter did, not come to this. My daughter's sitting in jail. Have you talked with Caitlin about this plea deal and what has she said about it? Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's one of the lesser of two evils that we pick. You know, it's either this or go a chance of 
her being a, a sex offender for the rest of her life. Speaking she's of that, just a kid. As a result of this plea deal, she's not going to have to register as a sex offender. What's your reaction to that, that she's not going to have to do that? That's awesome, but it's she's still in jail for another 80 days. She's still three years probation. It's just ridiculous, man. She's, they're just a bunch of kids. What are your plans once Caitlin gets out of jail? To just try to keep her out of trouble from there on. Keep her home, keep her safe, you know. Help her teach other kids, you know, educate her friends. Um, you know, these kids are, they, they're ignorant of the laws. You know, if, if we start arresting kids, teenagers, for having sex or sexting, you might as well turn the high schools into prisons. Uh, you know, parents don't like it. I'm not approving kids having sex or sexting back and forth, but it happens every day in every country across America for teenagers. Um, it should have been handled within the family. It's something that sh they should have come to us. Um, went to the school, set, set a guidance counselor to call us. Anything would have been um, given a chance to, to remedy the situation, and that's not what happened. Um, you know, it's okay for, you know, currently, you know, for this girl to be seeing an 18 year old boy. Um, however, it wasn't okay for her to be seeing Caitlin. Um, you know, it just, it, now we've got lawsuits going after money. You know, it, it's, it just all, you know, should have been avoided, could have been avoided by simple parenting.